Well, we have some visuals coming in of students protesting. All of these are uh, job seekers protesting in Prayagraj. There you can see several uh, protesters. They're holding up banners demanding jobs. And these are the latest protest visuals that we're tracking from uh, Prayagraj, where unemployed youth have staged a protest demanding for jobs. And they've started raising slogans as well. If you could uh, play the audio up and uh, tell our viewers about what exactly is happening in Prayagraj. There you can see, viewers, a sea of protesters have gathered in Prayagraj of Uttar Pradesh. They are demanding jobs as uh, all of these protesters who you see on your screens are unemployed. And uh, their hunt for job continues. In the meantime, with no jobs to offer, these students have now taken to the streets. Well, remember viewers, there are also aspirants of various competitive examinations conducted by the Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission and they have uh, warned of a protest today and uh, right now as their demands were not met, these aspirants have now hit the streets because the reason is that their demand to conduct the RO, ARO and PCS preliminary examinations was to be conducted on the same date the UPPSE had last week announced that the review officer and assistant review officer preliminary examinations would be held in three shifts on December 22nd and 23rd but these aspirants said that all of them must be held on the same date and following uh, their demands not being met these protesters have now staged a massive agitation outside the Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission office in Prayagraj. These are the live visuals that uh, we are tracking from outside the UP PSC office in Prayagraj. Now remember, these protesters had demanded that all of these examinations must be held on the same date. But however, the UP PSC board had uh, last week announced that these examinations will be held in two shifts on December 7th and 8th. And since then, the aspirants have raised concerns over conducting the examinations in two shifts. In fact, uh, they had also said that uh, earlier they had declared that these exams would be held in three shifts. But however, the UPPCS Provincial Civil Service Preliminary Examination was also declared that it will be held in two phases on December 7th and 8th. But these aspirants demand that all of these exams must be held in a single phase on the same day. We have Ajay Dubey also joining us on the phone line. Ajay ji, what is happening outside uh, the UPPC PSC office in Prayagraj? If you could take us through the protests and uh, the demands of these aspirants. These aspirants, they were asking for only one uh, one requirement. They wanted to have this uh, preliminary exam just in one day. That's what they are asking for. And a few days back, we have seen there was controversy related to UP, PSC and uh, uh, various other exams for uh, uh, this uh, recruitment thing. So the important part right now is that uh, uh, we have seen visuals where students are protesting in front of that building. And now police, uh, as you, uh, uh, police have uh, has tried to, try to uh, let them out of this space and uh, and after that we've seen visuals from that space thousands of students are right now in front of that building and uh, overall few days back there, there was order for uh, this thing when it was uh, decided uh, they they ordered for the exam for the exam and uh, now uh, for this exam thing we have seen visuals where students are protesting against the date and timeline because it was decided that these exams will be conducted in two days and student wants uh, it to be done in a single day so that is what, that's the reason why they are protesting right now and here we have visuals uh, from Prayagraj where our uh, students are protecting, uh, protecting very aggressively. Right, Ajay, many thanks for joining me with those details. The protest will continue until the demands are met. That's what uh, the aspirants had claimed, but it's time for us to move on as we'll get you all these uh, latest developments as and when the protests intensify.